I'm Dave McGrill and here's a quick roll call tip for you regarding standpipe operations. One of the things we're trying to emphasize with our training and with our operational procedures is for the firefighter in the control position that's charging the standpipe and setting the pressure, for that firefighter when they receive the message that is calling for water, for them to charge that line slowly. It's important, especially as that dry hose line goes up the stairs, the weight of the water coming up quickly can pull that hose line down the stairs, sometimes very forcefully. It can put it into a position where it drops it into a well hole, drops it into some sort of an area where there could be a pile of hose and kinks, and ultimately a failed operation. So when that call for water comes for that young firefighter at the standpipe hose valve outlet, perhaps we'll call them the control firefighter, make sure you charge that hose line slowly so that the hose line won't move and we'll have a very successful operation. Another piece of the puzzle there that I've been teaching firefighters is in the process of charging it slowly, there's something you can do that adds to a little bit more finesse with this. When the hose line, uh, the, the water is called for, you can open it up just slightly and at that point go check and take a quick look to make sure that the hose line is properly laid out. Now you got to move up the stairs quickly, look down the hallway, see the fire attack team really quickly, but you're looking to make sure the hose line hasn't moved, a door hasn't become unwedged and closed over a dry hose line, that sort of thing. And in the process of doing that, by opening it up really slowly, you have water slowly filling the hose line. I refer to it as the gopher creep. By the time you come back down, there's weight of uh, water in the hose and then you can charge the hose line the rest of the way. So the takeaways are, when they call for water, charge that hose line quickly. And if you wanna add some finesse to it, you can open it up slightly before you look at the whole thing and then charge it when you come back. But charging it slowly, looking at the whole thing is very important in order to have a safe and successful standpipe operation. Thanks for listening.